Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Yelena Tabwa here. And in this video, we basically gonna I'm gonna share with you some updates that um I haven't done in a while. And um yeah, so let's get into this. I gotta sweep up today. Uh I'm gonna be closing this up because I need to work on a few things. And I'm excited. What I got in the mail, I ordered this the other day and it came super fast. So I invested in a ultimate presser foot set by Madam So. 32 pieces. I saw this on Tabitha Sewers um, Instagram. If you don't know who Tabitha Sewer is, she's a sewing blogger and I have to say her Instagram is popping. So you can go over there and check it out. But she had mentioned this brand um, on her page and I have to say that they have really good customer service. I went ahead and purchased this um, for $60. They had a coupon code um, when you join their email list and the coupon code didn't work. So I went ahead and contacted them and asked them, you know, hey, the coupon code didn't work the coupon code didn't work and is there any way you can adjust it so anyway they emailed me really back very quickly and assisted me with the coupon code they have great customer service like i said i bought this like a, a last week and it came early this week right after the holidays i thought it was going to be here later on so anyway this is the 32 set 32 pieces plus they include the adapter to adapt this on any machine so I'm thrilled and excited to use this. Yes, 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 yes. I really got this because I wanted to do the blind stitch hem. I also want to do a binding hem. I also wanted a, uh, a presser foot that works on patented leather or faux leather. So when you know those shiny fabrics sometimes be sticking to the foot pedals and they have a special kind. This is the one that they have here special rolly so it kind of rolls onto the fabric so you can stitch oh i'm obsessed i could be doing a lot of stuff with this especially combinations of fabrics i want to mix they also have like an embroidery um press of foot gathers when it gathers oh this is the one i'm going to be gathers oh you know i'm going to be using this so okay. guy this is going to be gathering the um the fabric i think it's a really good investment to do um, like I said, I was in the market of looking for, I didn't, I didn't know where to, or which pedal foot pressers to purchase for my machine. So I think this is a great, um, option for those who are looking to, you know, get fancy with their projects. Um, like I said, this is not sponsored, so don't think I'm trying to promote them, whatever. I just like good service. And when I get good service, I like to talk about it. Right now, as you can see, my whole setup is changed. I basically decided like the beginning of this year to switch up my living room because first of all um i was not utilizing it properly i had a huge table here and i was just stacking stuff on it and then underneath the table i was hoarding a lot of fabric okay i have a humongous fabric stash and um earlier this year i was able to get rid of some of them so i was selling them on um on instagram so I want to give big shout outs to everybody who did purchase, who followed me on Instagram and purchased some of my fabrics to get rid of them, help me get rid of them. I am highly grateful. Um, I will be investing that money into getting some equipment for my channel. So here is my fabric stash. I have bins upon bins of fabric that I have hoarded over the years. And I got rid of some really good ones, but I still have a lot left. Um, there's some that, um, I'm not going to let go, like a couple of bins here. I'm just not going to let go some things cause they're really beautiful. Um, but I do have these two bins, which is full of stuff in there. Let me see. But I have this and this on my Instagram. But if you guys would like to see what I have in my stash, so you can purchase, you can, um, let me know in the comments and I, maybe I'll make a separate video for YouTube. Um, but right now I have done all of these on my instagram in my highlights so if you are on instagram you can check my highlights and contact me because it has prices including shipping and i accepting payment through venmo
was a lot of work. Okay, so what I'm planning to do now is alter my dress. Um, a lot of you guys were coming into the comments, coming for me, saying I should have kept the open bag and then put the black border underneath. So, um, for me, I thought that the dress, um, looked nice and everything, and I too agree that, um, uh, maybe I should definitely have an open back as well, because I did see, like I said in my last video, that the bow came off, um, a little lower than what I expected, and I thought you couldn't really see it. So, therefore, I'm going to go back and make those adjustments, and then also add the black border underneath this. So it happens, you know, um, I was just being very kind of lazy after all the work that goes into creating something like this. And I kind of was a little bit over it. But um, that doesn't mean that I should have scrapped it out. Um, if I know it was going to be this long, so be it. You know, I just take my time and produce a garment that I'm fully satisfied with. Also, I noticed that the front, I'm going to put like a center bone in here because I want it to be... Um, more firm and straight and I see that it's kind of you know lumpy and stuff over here so I don't like that when I'm like bending my waistline so I'm going to go ahead and add additional bones in here but yeah I'm going to go ahead and create an open back here and then adjust that I might even adjust the bows I wish I could create a bow without like you know the traditional way like I want to be able to take fabric and just you know fold it I admire people who do that fold it into something amazing and it's just with the fabric, you know, it's just like, because every time I try it, it looks like a bunch of mess. Moving the top stay stitch is so tedious. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be here forever. So I separated it, and this is the lining, and I'm going to take this apart as well, and then separate these pieces. Here is the gown on the outside. I got to take off the zipper. Well, this is great. My camera lens broke. Can you believe this? This whole thing fell off my tripod and I was completely broken like. <sighs> so I separated the bodices from the skirt. The top one is the outer bodice shell and this is the lining. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and recreate the bodice over and fix it and make my adjustments on the new one and then recreate the lining as well. Hello boy, Jinxy boy. You want to tell everybody hello? Okay. This is a case of the second time comes out better than the first. Oh, it be like that sometimes. Okay, so this is the inside lining. I'm going to put the bones back in there. This is where I um, put the in, uh, fusible. I'm about to put a bone right here in the middle. You know, I want to make sure that's, that front stay up. I redid the outside bodice as well. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay. The back opening right here is right over here. And I got to add um, that extra piece to extend to close out the back. But this is basically it right here. Good morning, everybody. That kicks in at the very end. Oh. All right, so now I am on to the skirt. 
And what I'm gonna do is remove all this horse hair. And then I'm gonna chop off a good chunk of the hemp. So what do you guys think about the controversial racial political drama that's happening right now in the high-end market? I, for one, is not surprised at it at all. And I kind of think that this is being done on purpose. You know, luxury is about exclusivity. And they don't want everybody to be wearing their stuff because it kind of diminished the access access to the brand so if it's accessible to everybody it's not special so i kind of understand and respect that but are you saying that in the terms of i don't want certain groups of people wearing my stuff because they will make it low quality All right, so it's almost complete. And this is what the hem look like now. Very close to the sketch. Let me go over here so you can see it. So here is the open back. I gotta put a hook and eye in the open back. A little bit more pressing. This is a little... Yeah, I gotta do a little more pressing. So I'm on the floor now, creating my bow. I think I'm gonna go and, and do another type of version of the bow. So I'm just gonna cut this out. All right, so this will be my bows like that. Hopefully it will look like this when I'm done. I'm gonna stitch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that. Stitch this, stitch them together, bam, and then this will be the center back part of the bow where I want it to kind of hang. That's gonna look cute. So I was, I decided to go over the big bow. I didn't want the little miniature bow. I don't think it's um, a statement of enough, a big enough statement for moi. Um, I think bigger or go home. So this is what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I guess a baby, a baby bow probably would look good. Let me see. Maybe, ooh, okay, maybe, maybe I do know a tiny bow. Look at that, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's kind of cute. You know, that's kind of cute. Okay, okay, let me, you know what, let me decide. Now, the tricky part is to button the back. Oops. So here is the back detail. Absolutely love it. I don't know why I left it out in the first place. I personally love them both. Um, this is the realistic version of the sketch that I sketched. And I made those updates with the board at the hem, the open back, a smaller bow, and the tail ends, as you can see, are just as the photo. Yes, I did it all. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for your feedback. I absolutely love all the comments that was left on the video. I didn't expect you guys to like resonate with it. A lot of you guys mentioned that you also have dresses that you wish you could bring to life as well. So I feel you on that, honeys, ladies, fabulous DIYers. You know what I'm saying? So let me know that in the comments what you guys think. <laughs>
Close up with the bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine me at my prom? Shoot. Now I need a red carpet. That's what I need. A red carpet moment. Okay? Because I'm coming through to set the bar.